So our next subtopic is applications of cryopreservation, different types of you know, adv advantages or applications. First of all, this technique is uh, used for preservations of cells, tissues, which may be preserved for more than a decade or even longer for longer period of time. So what type of tissues can be stored, can be cryopreserved? We can preserve ovarian tissues along with oocytes. We can preserve skin. We can preserve blood products, different types of cells from the blood, blood proteins, so on. We can preserve embryo, embryos of different animals at different stages, early embryos, late embryos. We can preserve semen uh, along with sperms, mesenchymal stomal cells, they are preserved. Frozen whole animals, uh, they are also preserved, they may also be preserved and uh, they have actually been preserved and have yielded viable cells with intact DNA uh, even after decades after their preservation. Similarly, microbial cultures can be frozen uh, and different plant material, uh, plant sources, mosses, uh, plant seeds, shoots, they can be preserved. Uh, similarly, uh, hematopoietic stem cells, they can also be uh, frozen. And uh, why they are frozen? Uh, these uh, HSC or hematopoietic stem cells, they are useful for the treatment of different diseases like lymphomas and solid tumor uh, malignancies. Similarly, these uh, hematopoietic stem cells, they are also useful for treating disor disorders of uh, nervous and muscular systems and uh, different diseases of liver and heart. This uh, cryopreservation can be used for uh, profound hypothermia. What it is? It is used during bypass surgery in which controlled cooling of blood up to 10 to 14 degrees Celsius is achieved. What is its use? Uh, it's, this stops all cerebral activity and provides protection for all the vital organs during bypass surgery. So, surgery ke dhoran, uh, blood hai usko cool kiya jata hai, 10 to 14 degrees centigrade. Is ke dhoran, several activities jo hoti hai, wo ruk jati hai, aur isi tarah, jo ba baki jo vital organs hoti hai, wo bhi kaam kerte rehte hai, aur unko protection bhi zahare milti hai. Aur surgery ke baad, slowly, uh, warm karke, warming ki jati hai, taake jo normal activities hoti hai, unko regain jo wo kiya ja sake. Efforts are, uh, and a way to preserve humans, uh, which is cryonics. Uh, this a recent field in which these scientists are trying to say that if it's possible, humans can cryopreserve karte, or after 10 years or after 20 years, maybe after uh, 100 years, they can bring them to normal temperature and they can bring them to living form mein la sakte hai, ke nahi la sakte. Uh, there are different stories about it and there are, of course, attraction for different people for it. Kya ye possible hai? Kya nahi hai? Zahir hai, ek tarah se ye hoga ki hum dekhein, aaj kal, to thik hai, hum ne dunia dekh li hai. So hum dekhein ki after 100 years, dunia kaisi hoogi. So wo aapne aapko cryopreserve kar lenge or after 100 years or after some time, they will again be uh, back to normal life. Magar ye kya hota hai ya nahi hota? It's a question.